Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In the last tutorial we worked on the Russian spiral bracelet and we worked with Atos and 4 and fire polished beads. And I decided to make a matching necklace and I used bugles instead. So if you've done this tutorial you'll find this very easy because it's almost the same. Instead of Atos you are using 11 O's, instead of uh, 4 and fire polish you are using bugles. But the only difference is gonna be where we attach the clasp because we can't really attach it the same way we did on the bracelet. If you try, you're just gonna break the bugles at the edges. But we did it this way and it still looks very pretty. So for this necklace, you're gonna need bugles, 6mm bugles. I'm using check. This is silver light clear. This one was silver light gold, also check. And then you will need some 11 -0 tohos or use any 11 O's. You can use Miyuki, you can use Chak, you know, just anything really, as long as it's 11 -0. And then you will need some Farm and Fire Polish at the ends. I chose the colors to match my bugles. You can use any other color. You can make it pop out if you want. Here I used some Kashmir AB to go along with the gold. And this one is called Light Silver Night. To go along with the silver bugles and then you'll need a clasp i'm gonna be using this uh, box clasp like the ones you usually use on pearl necklaces and then you'll need a uh, beading thread i'm gonna be using naimo white size d then you'll need a uh, beading needle so i'm gonna be using size 10 and you'll need scissors to cut the thread so that's all the materials you need go ahead thread your needle with comfortable length because you'll be adding a lot and I will show it one time in this tutorial how to do that. So go ahead, thread your needle, get your beads ready, and then we'll get straight to work. So I thread my needle with two yards. Um, I had to change the color of uh, seed beads. I was using purple, but on the camera they were so sparkly, so I had to delete that. So instead we're gonna use this terracotta. So it's not sparkly, so I should be able to show on the camera what I'm doing. So the start is basically the same we did on the bracelet it's just instead of fire polish we are using bugle so i'm gonna pick up one bugle two eleven nose one bugle two eleven nose one bugle two eleven nose so this is what i have three bugles and three sets of two eleven nose and then i'm gonna drop it down i'm gonna leave a tail of about a foot or a bit more that will be enough to add one side of the clasp so I'm gonna leave foot and a half just to be safe and then I'm gonna take my needle through all those beads one more time hold down the tail and pull the thread and now to actually turn it into a circle I will go through the bugle here and through the first, well, let's go through the bugle and then pull my thread. So we turn it into a circle. Well, in our case, it'll be a triangular, but that's how we start. From here, what I do is repetitious for every single row. So how you started, you always have to be coming out of the 11 right after the bugle. Pull my thread nice and tight. You always want to pull your thread tight here. Now I'm gonna pick up one bugle, two 11 nose, and then go through the first 11 nose straight after this bugle here. And then pull my thread. So that's the one. You have three units in each row. Then pick up one bugle, two 11 nos see where my thread's coming out of i'm gonna go through the first 11 nos straight after the bugle this one here that's two and the third one one bugle two 11 nos you always pick up the same sets of beads see where my thread's coming out of you skip the bugle and come out of the first 11 coming after that bugle 
And now, since it's the last unit in this row, we have to step up. And how you step up, see how my thread is coming out of? You're gonna go straight through the bugle and one 11 -0. And then pull your thread nice and tight so all those beads you added pop to the top of the bottom triangular. In the beginning, it's gonna be really wonky, but once you have several rows going on, it really starts taking shape. So now again, remember every single row is done exactly the same way. You pick up one bugle, two 11 nose, and then skip the bugle and go through the first 11 0 after that bugle and pull your thread. And then again, see how wonky it is in the beginning to hold on to? Pick up one bugle, two 11 0s. See how my thread is coming out of? You skip the bugle and go through the first 11 0 right after the bugle. and pull your thread and the last one in this row one bugle two 11 nose go through the first see where my thread's coming out of go through the first 11 0 after the bugle and since it's the last one i'm gonna go through the bugle and through the 11 0 to step up and here, pull your thread nice and tight. So you have three rows going on. So again, you pick up one bugle, two 11 nose, go through the first 11 nose straight after the bugle. And pull your thread nice and tight. Again, pick up one bugle, two 11 nose and then go through the first 11 nose straight after the bugle now that's two and the last one in this row pick up one bugle two 11 nose and then go through the first 11 nose straight after the bugle and see it's really easy to tell that it's the last one in this row because see we came out of the 11 0 you don't have any other 11 o's after that, so it means it's time to step up, go through the bugle and through the 11 o. And pull your thread nice and tight. So I'm gonna show you two more rows and then from there, you should be able to continue on your own. So you pick up one bugle, two 11 o's, and then go through the first 11 o after the bugle. See? What I mean, I'm coming out here, right? It's just the first unit in this row. But see, the, the, the bead I came out of, you still have two 11 O's after that. So it does, it means you are still going on in the same unit and it's not time to step up. So you pick up one bugle, two 11 O's. Go through the first 11 O after the bugle. Again, see where my thread's coming out of? You still have 11 O's after that 11 O. Pull your thread nice and tight. And again, one bugle, two 11 nose. And then go through the first, see where my thread's coming out of? Through the first 11 nose after the bugle. But if you notice, it's the only 11 nose on this, on this part. So once you go through that 11 nose, it means it's also time to step up. So it means you go through the first bugle and through the first 11 nose. And pull your thread. That easy. See, it's forming. So I'm gonna show you one more time. One bugle, two 11 nose, go through the first 11 nose after the bugle. Pull your thread nice and tight. Pick up one bugle, two 11 nose, go through the first 11 nose right after the bugle. And pull it nice and tight. Pick up bugle, two 11 nose. Go through the first bead after the bugle, but it's also the only one, which means it's time to step up. Go through the bugle and through the first 11 nose. And that's how you continue on and on and on until you have your required length. 
so you know you can make it short you can make it long but i decided to keep mine quite short just to you know go around your neck i like it like a collar i don't th I think i want it to be like a long necklace type where you would want to you know hang a pendant or something maybe if you used smaller bugles and it would be like quite thin to make it longer but with this i think it's best to stick to short collar type of length so once you have your full length i'm gonna meet you back here and i'm gonna show you how to attach the clasp but before that i will also have one break where i will run out of thread i'm gonna show you how to get rid of the tail and how to add more thread to russian spiral so i'm gonna see you there so at this point I'm running out of thread and have to add new thread. It's not the first time, I already added three four times I think. But look how gorgeous the structure is. Isn't it just pretty? So now I'm going to show you how to get rid of the tail. Now remember when we start a spiral we are doing everything in the clockwise. So once you start doing on one way, I always prefer to do clockwise. You can do counterclockwise if you like. You always go in the same direction. You never change the direction. So what I mean here, for example, to get rid of the tail, I added the last row and then I stepped up. So to get rid of the tail, see what my thread's coming out of? I'm just gonna spiral down through the seed beads, which is as well clockwise. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna pass some beads here. Just remember to pull your thread nice and tight all the time. For example, here I'm gonna make my first knot. Just take my needle under those, between the beads and make one overhand knot. Go down several beads, make one knot here, go down several beads, and make probably last one here, and get away from the knots. And that's how you get rid of the tail. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take two yards again, and then I'm gonna show you how to add the thread. I thread my needle with another two yards, and I'm gonna show you how to add the thread. Now remember, we always go clockwise if we started doing clockwise. But if you notice, our seed beads going upwards in a counterclockwise direction, so it means we can't really add the thread going through the seed beads. So it means we're gonna spiral upwards through the bugles instead. So to start off, for example, I'm just gonna start several rows down. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go through one seed bead, pull my thread. I'm gonna leave a short tail that I can just hold on to for now. That's enough. And then I'm gonna go through the next bugle and through the next seed bead. Pull your thread. Now here I'm gonna make my first knot. Just gonna take my needle under the beads. What a long thread. Leave a small loop. Take my needle through and pull the thread. And now here I'm gonna make my first knot. That's it. And then I'm going to take my needle through the bugle and through the seed bead. If you can't do it in one go, just do one at a time. Through the bugle and through the seed bead. Now here I'm going to make my second knot. So I'm just going to take my needle between the beads, under the beads as well. Take my, uh, pull my needle with a small loop, take my needle through and pull it. So you have two knots, so we do one more. Go through the bugle, through the seed bead. And now here again, take the, bead, take the needle under the beads, 
do a small loop, take my needle through and pull the thread. So that's three knots and that's enough. So I'm just gonna spiral my way up now. Go through the bugle, through the seat peak. And the last one here, through the bugle, through the seat peak. So now if you notice, you are at the top and you are coming out of the first seat bead going after the bugle, which means you can just go ahead and continue adding your rows now. Just pick up one bugle, two seat beads, and so on, just like we started. And now here, you can just go ahead and cut the tails. This one and this one here. And now you just continue like nothing happened. You have a new thread, you don't have any sticking out threads and once you have your full length i'm gonna meet you back here and i'm gonna show you how to attach the clasps so go ahead and get the full length done as you can see here i finished the whole length and then i went ahead and attached one side of the clasp i already did it because i'm gonna show you how to do it on the second side and both sides are done exactly the same way so this is the tail i had left on this side i'm gonna go ahead thread my needle and now here our thread has to be coming out of the 11 0 coming right after the bugle so we go ahead and take our needle one more bit here and then you pick up one 4 mm and then two 11 0s so you're using your fire polish now and then go through the next 11 0 coming right after the bugle then Pick up one 4mm and two 11 0s. Go through the next 11 0 coming after the bugle. Pick up one 4mm, two 11 0s, and then go through the next 11 0 coming after the bugle. Here we are. So you basically did the same thing, it's just changed the bugle to 4mm, which basically helps to shrink a bit. And now you want to go ahead. Go through the first 4mm and then through the first 11 0 coming after that. And just go ahead and pull your needle nice, nice and tight. Pull your thread nice and tight. And then here, instead of 4mm, I'm going to pick up one 11 0 and then two 11 0s. Basically, you always take two 11 0s after the unit, right? It's just here, instead of the 4mm, we picked up one 11 0. So it ends up having three 11 0s instead. So what we're going to do here, you're coming out here, you go through the first 11 0 after the next fire polish. And then pull your thread nice and tight. Then pick up three 11 0s. Go through the next 11 0 after the next 4 mm. And then pull your thread. Then pick up three 11 0s and then go through the first 11 0 coming after the next 4 mm. And here we are, your circle is shrinking, but make sure the bits stay on top. And pull your thread nice and tight. So that's what you end up with. And now you want to go ahead, take your needle. See, you have three 11 0s on each side now. You want to go ahead, come out of the middle here. Here. And pull your needle. Nice and tight. You want to pick up one 11 0 and then go through the middle here on this side. So you have three 11 on top. I'm gonna go through the middle one. Pick up one 11 On this side as well you have one, two, three. So I'm gonna go through the middle one. Pick up one 11 On this side one, two, three. You go through the middle one. So it might be confusing because all the bits look the same now. But now what you do you just go through the three beads you just added. Find those three center beads you just added and go through them. That's one, two, 
three and then connect it to the first so these are three elevenos at the top that you're gonna work with just remember this three at the top this one two three the last three beads you added so now I'm just gonna zoom out a bit I'm gonna pick up 4mm drop it down I'm gonna pick up one I uh, pick up four 11 O's your clasp and then four 11 O's one two three four this is what you have and then you want to go ahead take your needle back through the 4mm and now here see this three bits you are working with so you're coming out of this one you go through the next one and pull your thread and now again take your needle through the 4mm basically you are reinforcing your clasp now go through all those four 11 O's through the clasp through the 11 O's and back down through the 4mm if you can straight away then find where your threads coming out of see it's coming out here so I'm go I'm gonna go through the third 11 o this time see it's coming out here through the second 11 o I'm gonna go through the third one pull your thread nice and tight and now it's the last time we're gonna reinforce the clasp again go through the 4 mm through the 11 o's the 11 no here through the clasp through the 11 no down through 11 no's and now down through the 4 mm and now I find where your thread is coming out see it's coming out here so I'm gonna go through the first 11 no so I've been in and out of all three top 11 no's and reinforced the clasp twice so it's basically done and now all you have to do is just get rid of the tail so what I'm gonna do see where my threads coming out of I'm just gonna go downwards now through the 11 s so if you've done my uh, Russian spiral bracelet before you will notice that it's quite similar it's just you know you had to do a bit of more units to shrink the rope otherwise you wouldn't be able to connect the clasp and we're just gonna go down some beads before I make knots here I'm gonna make my first knot go down some more beads take your time this is the last bead so no need to rush second loop so I like always usually to make three knots just to be on the safe side and then here I can make my third one and then just take your thread away from the knots And then here I can go ahead and cut the thread at the very base. And we are done. Here is the silver one. And here is the gold one. And then here are the bracelets. aren't they just gorgeous very easy to make and you end up with such a gorgeous result look how different the looks are when you just change fire polish to the bugles and if you notice in the fire polish you need well you don't have to use three different colors of fire polish you could still use one color but you wouldn't have that nice spiral effect where you know it gives you a perfect opportunity to use different colors while on this one 
I just used one color of bugle and look how gorgeous it is. You could still use three different colors of bugles if you wanted. It's just I don't have that many different colors of bugles and I didn't want to mix black and whites and that would not be really nice. And look how gorgeous it is. Such a beautiful spiral, such a beautiful structure. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and make sure to check out my other tutorials. I have a lot of it out there. So, you know, if you just go to my channel, go to video section, you can just scroll down and I'm sure you'll find something you like. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.